Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about use properties of inequalities. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So we're going to start off with the definition for the properties of inequalities. We have the addition property, which states, if A is less than B, then A plus C is less than B plus C. And then we also have the multiplication property, is if A is less than B and C is greater than zero, then A times C is less than B times C. If A is less than B and C is less than zero, then A times C is greater than B times C. These properties also apply to A is less than or equal to B, and uh, A is greater than B, and A is greater than or equal to B, okay? Instead of writing it all out with all the different possibilities, they let you know there. So let's go demonstrate using the addition property here with example three. Okay, this is our addition property. Let's demonstrate that. So part A, x minus 15 is less than four, okay? So what they're saying here is that we're allowed to, and this is almost like You've probably done this before, but you don't really know the, the you know, property allows you to do it. But what it's saying is that we can add 15 to both sides and almost treat this like it's an equal sign. So we have x minus 15. We can add a 15 to both sides. That cancels out here, leaving us x by itself. And then 4 plus 15 is 19. So x is actually less than 19. Not too bad. Part B here, you have uh, we're given this problem, 6 is greater than or equal to x minus 1. Again, same idea, we can add a 1 to both sides. So let's do that, 6 plus 1 is less than or equal to x minus 1 plus 1. And again, I picked plus 1 because I wanted to get x by itself, and there's a minus 1 here, so I just did the opposite, added a 1. x is by itself, the 1's cancel, and 6 plus 1 is 7, and so 7 is greater than or equal to x. Or you can rewrite it if you want x is less than or equal to 7. And then part c here, not too bad. We have x plus 7 is greater than 9. All right, same idea. We can subtract a 7 to both sides. Opposite of that, adding a 7. So I'm doing that. These 7s cancel. I know it's pretty redundant. And we have x here is greater than 9 minus 7, which is 2. Okay? All right. So now, this one is a little more tricky. We're gonna deal and dive in to multiplication. Okay, so example four here, and we're gonna use multiplication property. Okay, so our first example here, part A, is three X times six, or is less than six, not times six, okay? Well, what we can do here now, I know we want to divide first by three, but technically we're doing multiplication. So what I'm going to do is multiply this by one third. It's kind of the same thing, right? To both sides. And what that allows us to have is that one third cancels out to three here, leaving us x by itself. And that's less than six times one third, which is two. So if x is less than two, not too bad, okay? Now we have a B val or part B here, okay? So we have a negative two X minus one is greater than or equal to five, okay? So first thing, uh, we can add a one to both sides, which we've done before, is so we have minus two X is greater than or equal to five plus one is six. So now we have a negative two X. To eliminate that, we're multiplying both sides by a negative two, okay? So we have a or negative one half, excuse me, opposite of negative two, or reciprocal there. So we have a negative two x here. We multiply both sides by a negative one half. The one negative one half cancel, giving us an x. But here's the kicker: when we multiply over an inequality or divide, in a sense, by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. So x is now less than or equal to six times negative one half, which is a negative three. And there we have it, x is less than or equal to negative three. And lastly, part C, we have five minus x is greater than 10. 
And we're gonna go through the same process here, subtract a five to both sides. We have minus x is greater than 10 minus five, which is positive five. Notice again, if we subtract a five over the inequality, nothing changes. It's only when we multiply or divide by a negative number over the inequality. So here, again, we're multiplied by a negative one to get rid of that minus, or the negative sign in front of the x. Okay, negative one times negative x is a positive x. We again flip the sign, so greater than is now a less than sign, and five times negative one is a negative five. And there you have it. You've done some examples of using properties of inequalities, the addition and multiplication property of inequalities. If you learned something here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com.